And welcome to an indie preview of Project Zomboid, which comes out on Steam Early Access tomorrow, the 8th of November. It has been in development for, I think, close to two years. I have been playing it on and off for, I think, about one year. Uh, there has been huge changes since uh, since I first tried it, uh, and my saves have, have been broken quite a few times, uh, but lately they've uh, managed to convert, uh, so most of my saves, I don't think any of the last times, have, uh, have broken. I'm playing the last one that is before the... Um, before the uh, well early access build that comes out tomorrow i think there will come a new one uh, there are a few different modes uh, there's the survival there's sandbox and there's last stand i usually play survival uh, these are well this one i just started up this one was a failure and well we're just gonna start a new one so I'll show you the entire process we'll do mold draw because I know that one best we'll name this one Andy preview there we go spelling is hard and you can decide if you want to be male or female you can decide on body type if you want to be oh I guess it's uh, body color would be uh, more correct hair type uh, the hairdo that the lady has or the man has let's go with I think this is fine uh, yeah, she has something of a ponytail that's fine let's do her blonde Sharon Ward that's a good name Let's just go with next. And uh, there's a few different occupations. And they do have benefits, the different ones. So fire officer is axe man, axe woman I guess if, if it's a woman. Uh, double speed break into through doors with the axe, faster axe wing. Uh, I enjoy the construction worker best. Thick skinned and handy. Also, there are traits, uh, good traits, uh, costs, cost points, bad traits, gives you points, and it's a zero sum, so you have to uh, stay at zero up here. I like the strong trait, so I need to have six uh, plus light drinker. I don't drink alcohol in this game, it doesn't matter, there's no real need for it. Short tempered. Uh, there are no NPCs, there are just zombies. So this one makes no difference at all right now. You could call it a bit of a cheat, but well, there it is. I just like the strong trait. And this is the iconic startup. And I think it sets the mood very, very well. Basically, there has been a uh, zombie outbreak and you have to try to survive as long as possible by scavenging food, equipment, killing zombies, and this, this is how you died. Uh, there is no way of finishing this game. There is no end. The end is when you die, you try to stay alive as long as possible. The uh, There will be a campaign mode that... Uh, that one will have an ending. Uh, but I don't think they have finished that. There was a tutorial which uh, had two characters, the two main characters, Bald Spot and his wife Kate. Uh, but that was taken out quite a long while ago since the scripting broke and they had more important things to do at that time. Uh, it's sometimes a little, little bit sketchy in the startup. No, 
here it has loaded. That's good. There's the tutorial. Also, here, here's the scavenging. You can scavenge everything. We'll grab a can opener. That's always good. We need some food. And we'll have a bowl as well. You need to have... Ooh, hammer. That's awesome. Quick primary. There are shot... Shot... Shot weapons? There are guns in this game. But um, I don't really enjoy the guns. They uh, cause a lot of noise. Noise brings more. Bring zombies. And uh, well, I don't think it works 100% perfectly yet in any case. We did get a plastic bag which we can use as a container and we can stuff things into it. And you do have a carrying capacity and that carrying capacity if you go over it you will have a modal here. Uh, I will show you the modals in a little while. Uh, and you will uh, be overweight and you can't carry as much. You should also always carry water with you. It's very important. Uh, another plastic bag. We don't really need another plastic bag. But let's grab the chips and let's raid the fridge as well. We're going to loot that into the plastic bag. Loot all. I hope. Yes. That went well. So uh, you can explore and be very careful when exploring because it's quite easy to uh, book carpent carpentry. Let's grab that. Book boredom reduction. Let's not bother with that right now. Uh, we are going to take ooh, a school bag. That's awesome. Equip on your back. I think this is one of the best starts I've had so far. Cigarette stress. I don't know if the re-implemented stress. I think that was gone for a while. We are going to grab the sheet. I will show you later why sheets are quite important. Yes, we raided both of them. And let's see. Uh, there are zombies and I will show you how the zombies works. Uh, it also seems like Sometimes the game is laggy. Here is a zombie. And they have implemented the idle stance. They hadn't done that before. I want to show you how to kill a zombie. Oh, he's a slow one. I think he'll die fairly quick. There's a Moodle. Uh, and we'll swing. Oh, shit. Push him away and swing. I guess the hammer isn't the greatest weapon for... Uh, it, it has a um, very limited range, I guess. Because I missed, as you can see. Mm. And swing, miss. Uh, when... There we go. That was hit. Uh, when you're panicked, you also uh, are less likely to hit. Perfect. Get them down on the ground and smack them. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Yes, there we go. And you can loot the corpses as well. Sometimes they have stuff, sometimes it's. Um, it's um, an NPC. Uh, I know NPCs aren't in here, but sometimes you can find the corpses of them anyway, or zombies of them, I guess. If you get bitten, you can bandage the wounds. Uh, you can take fall damage as well, and that's in this heart. You see your overall status, and it also says that uh, you can you're hurt in uh, left foot, for example. Skills 
here we have skills and you need to use so I've used blunt a little bit I've hit a little bit uh, so yeah you can level that up as well uh, some doors are locked we'll go through oh empty bottle that's actually really good we'll make that into a water bottle grab it hey come on grab it oh I is it because the one is full? So let's put it in our inventory. Grab it, I see. Interesting. They hadn't fixed that before. And both are empty. So let's see if we can go in through the window. She's going to stay there. Oh, okay. That went much quicker than I thought it would. And you can go in through the doors like this. Oh, sweet. Uh, so I will be able to show you how to barricade at least a window tent bit plank. Whoa, this is good. Wow, this is probably the best I've had so far. I'm probably going to have to continue on this one. Uh, continue playing on this one. No, not equip primary. Uh, no, no. Okay, that was not what I wanted. Where did the plastic bag go? Equip secondary. And where did the saw go? Let's put that into the backpack. There we go. And do some more looting here. There's a lot of looting. Doorknob. With enough stuff you can even make new doors. We'll grab another hammer. Because the more you use stuff, uh, after a while it breaks, we'll grab the doorknob as well. And we can open the uh, door from the inside. You can basically always do that. So I'll show you how to barricade windows as well. Uh, we'll just get in here. Come on. Yes, that's it. And close the window. We'll do a quick clean out so there are no zombies in here socks and sheets will tear one to uh, rip to bandage no let's rip one of the sweaters to bandages instead all right just one of them I hope no okay took both of them so I guess I'm gonna have rip bandages? No. Guess I have to have it in my inventory then. You used to be able to do it from everywhere. Sheets. I'll show you why I take the sheets in a little while. Um, you can hang sheets in front of the windows and the zombies won't see your movement. It's a good way of staying safe, basically. Socks will rip the shirts to shreds, sweater even. And I'll show you. Uh, ripped bandages even. And you get... Uh, where are the bandages? Here they are. You get eight for each thing you ripped pieces. You can run, uh, usually not advisable unless you know that uh, you're not going to find any zombies or you're not going to, let's eat this and I'll show you that mode as well, um, or you know that you can uh, uh, outrun them or kill them because that makes noise. Frying pan, roasting pan, I don't need it. As you see here, up to the right corner you have slightly fed short healing and strength boost you can feed all the way up to I can't remember is it well fed or something like that and we're gonna put the food into butter you can also combine food into um, healthier well um, maybe not healthier but uh, into better food that feels better that's probably a more 
accurate description. I, oops, here's a zombie or two. For some reason, they seem to be in the bathroom quite often. And um, let's see. Oh, two of them? Oh, move away. Because the other one comes. And will. Ho hopefully, will not die. Because I want to show you. Die. Because I want to show you how the. Go on. No. Move, 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 move. I want to show you how to do barricades at least on windows push him away push him away push him away and back up uh, the hammer is not a great weapon I noticed there we go and let's time it perfectly miss that was not a good timing we almost got bit there Oh, come on. This is just annoying. Yes. And for some reason she turns the wrong way when I want to hit that thing. And it's dead. I think the this one is dead as well. Yes. So let's see if they had anything nice on them. 9mm rounds. I have no idea why you would walk around with 10 9mm rounds in your pant pockets. Oh! And here we see the uh, encumber, encumbering. Let's eat something because that makes us stronger. Nope, not enough. So let's drop on the sheets. Drop it. It weighs a bit at least. There we go. Oh, sheet. Uh, I think this room is going to be clear now. Yes, it is. And here is a... It's just a closet with... What's in it? Baseball bat, hopefully. No baseball bat. Uh, I think you can equip a plank. Um, equip primary. Let's just try it and we'll see. Unpacking a plank takes forever, it seems. Uh, let's unpack the nails. Uh, no, I can't, I guess. Not like that. Like this. And we're gonna do uh, some barricading as well. You can also build uh, fences. Not like this, but uh, real fences, long fences. Oh yes, this one seems to have a much greater range, although hitting with a... P oh, do nails really weigh all that much? Alright, let's put something in our bag instead then. And I guess we'll throw something away. No, farming for beginners. Let's put that there. Eat the strawberries. Um, let's see the cabbage as well. There we go. Alright, uh, we'll re equip the hammer. Equip primary craft. Yeah, you can craft stuff as well. Uh, craft spiked plank. It uh, um, gives the plank more damage. But we're not going to do that. We will barricade this window though. Uh, can I do it from here? Huh. Oh, okay. Ah. Put it here and I'm backed. As you can see, now that takes more more um, the zombies can hit it for a longer while before it breaks. And I can build stuff as you can see. Wooden wall. Uh, Wooden pillar, wooden frame, door frame, sorry, uh, window frame. And as you get better, your bar furniture table. Can I make a table? No. Fence. Barbed fence. Whoa. Neat. 
I have not seen that one before. That one is new. Sandbag. Anyway. Oh, you can unbarricade now? That's uh, awesome. That was not in the game before either. Anyways, uh, you can barricade, you can put sheets on the windows. Uh, let's pick out, take out one sheet. Uh, put that secondary. I don't. I. You only need to have it in your equipment, or at least you did. Uh, we're not going to build. We are going to. Uh, probably have to be close enough to add sheet. That's it. So I'm going to put up sheet, and we're gonna. Uh, Make sure to click the sheet, which I'm not managing to do. Uh, you can close curtains. Oh, come on. Don't be. And obviously you can't... No, I don't want to open it. Obviously you can't... Uh, oh, okay. I guess not. Let's do this window instead. That's going to be much easier. Oh, I'm over encumbered again. I see. And no, I can't. Oh well. Anyway, you've got context sensitive. Uh, Right-click menu. We will do some cooking, so I'll show you that as well. Fill, 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 fill. Let's drink, and we'll put stuff into the oven. We did have a steak, but if I remember correctly, the steak was in the drop equip secondary, uh, in the plastic bag. So we'll put that here, and we'll bring that up, put the steak in, turn the oven on, look at it. And it's going to start heating up, as you can see. Dangerous, uncooked. Yeah, you can become sick by it, from it. And as you see, it becomes red when it gets hotter. Um, and we're going to cook that. And probably I'm going to leave it at this. Uh, I think you've got the gist of the game what it means, what it does, uh, what happens. Come on, fresh. Fresh, it's still fresh, uncooked. Come on, it's going to change uh, the icon here, or at least it used to do, and I'm fairly certain that they still have that. I must also say that the music in the game is just awesome cooked steak. There we go. Stop. And we're gonna turn. Remember to turn your ovens off. Uh, if I can. What's up today? Turn off. Because the oven can cause a fire. As you can see, hunger goes down by a lot. Boredom and unhappiness goes down as well. Meaning you become happier, you become less hungry and you're not as bored anymore. Here, very well fed, very long healing and strength boost. When night comes you do want to sleep in a bed because that gives you the best rest. Uh, let's just fast forward and I'll show that as well before we call this an episode. I will discuss the game a bit as well as it is a sandbox you can do well, basically anything you like. Uh, the exploration is important. Uh, the survival is important. You can craft stuff. It's just a an amazing game. I've put so many hours into this game. There's so much to do. There's so much they've thought about. Uh, and it's just... Well, it, it basically tickles my fa fancy fancy to uh, play in the zombie apocalypse trying to survive not being a superhuman who can kill 
200 zombies by staring at them, but basically being a regular human being. Wow, she woke early. I wonder why. There are a few more modes, but I think you're doing yourself a disservice if you're not looking into this game. You sh really should, and it's just gonna get better and better. Frame rates might be a little bit stuttery. Um, Java might be a bit of a bother to install, but it's, it's well worth it. All of it, trust me. So, it's gonna be out on Steam Greenlight tomorrow, the 8th of November. Do go get it for sure. I hope you enjoyed this in the preview, and I will see you next time.